I believe also that you've talked of mining. I think this university requires mining as a focus. If it is there, then I am working towards developing with some universities in Turkey. I'm in mining and there are some universities which has shown some signs to collaborate with the university in Kenya. So I think I'll pick you to be one that I'm choosing to tell them to start collaborating. The University of Turkey has done a lot on geologies and development of mining. And I think as a university, you stand a very great job to develop your own mine. You can develop your own gold, you can develop your own mining copper as a university and that will even help the students uh, care to know more about mining. And as a university, I don't think you'll require the government money. you love your own money and you can build the, the best university in Kenya, not even that, the one. I would also wish to say that there is also a special economic zone which has been mentioned by the vice chancellor. I think I spoke to, uh, when I met you, I talked to the, the, champ, the CEO of uh, Special Economic Zone of Kenya. And he said, if you have land, they are ready to license you and you can start Special Economic Zone. Where these students, they would be developing their nature. Whenever they are going out to the wall, they are able to do their things practically. Because Special Economic Zone, you can develop industries. And up there, also, you can partner with the international world and earn money as a university. I also want to wish the university next time, maybe in, uh, in your curriculum, you can give these to the graduates one month. One month in the sense that you can train them, if those who are going to venture into business, to understand the challenges that they are going to face. I mean, you bring up the children so that they are able to face the world as they are going out, as they exit the university. This will really develop them because what you are doing academically is different from what you are doing practically in the field. But one man is enough for you to give you some challenges that you can face and how you can correct them. So I think universities should be able to, because there is no more color jobs being offered by the government. We can develop our own. We can go international. How do we prepare these graduates to go international? So that they are able to go to Tanzania and face and do business there, like it is doing in Kenya. You can go to Europe. Who does the limitation of you not going to Europe and do business? I went to Europe when I was very young. I didn't know anybody, and I started my company at a very tender age, and I was able to succeed. So I believe Kenyans, our students, should be prepared to conquer the world. I want to request our chief guest to see how he can, you know, I tricked him. When he's here, now I can tell him what I want him to, <laughs> to do for us. He can assist us. He has big ideas and is very interested in matters innovation. And you know, to build a science park, you need billions. But I'm sure we'll, we have started a very good relationship and he's going to, to see how he can assist us to, to come up with a, a very serious a science, science park or an economic zone in this area. In terms of infrastructure, we are doing three buildings. The admin, the science tuition block, and the library. And uh, of course, there's reduced funding given what the, the, the economy of our country, and we request the ministry to go, to continue funding us so that we can we can continue developing the infrastructure, because now we are at the range of 6,000 students, and with 6,000, you need you need more infrastructure. We have also we are also doing a water project for the university. And we have already done the piping up to the university. And we are hoping if this water is adequate, we will give it to the technical, our technical and vocational college, and we'll also give it to members of the community. Because we want our university to be a university that has impact in the even in the local community. We have an earth dam, we have constructed an earth dam. We got funding from MIFAND, and now it is full because uh, here we need a lot of water. So we also want to thank IFAND uh, for their support. In terms of outreach, we have done, we have a huge farm there. We have a piggery, we have a citrus farm, we have a pottery, we have a dairy, we have an apiary, we have a fish pond, and we have a nursery. In fact, through that nursery, our universe has been able to donate over 
100,000 trees to support the presidential initiative of planting trees. And I want to encourage even the graduates, when you go home, I want the first thing you do, you plant what? You plant a tree so that people can see you went to school and you want to improve the what? The environment. Let people see something you do. Tharaka University is our pride in this region and this is why I say we compare very well with other long established universities like Nairobi University, Kenyatta University and the others. Allow me to give my congratulations to the graduates who are here. This is the beginning of the long journey out there and especially as you now want to join the working class. I wish you very well because from here you're going to serve the country, you're going to do all what pertains to the degree you're getting and certificates you're getting today. I know those from the Raka we will be interacting because you want to get jobs and I promise as your member of parliament I will do all what it takes to ensure that if there is a vacancy and you suit to be in that vacancy then you get the job. Do not shy to approach me. Do not shy once you make an application in the government portal to talk to me so that I see whether I can give you that assistance to get that much needed job. Allow me to thank a few people beginning with the promoters of the university whom Professor Njoka says began with a small arambe. I was not a member of parliament then but I was equally astounded how a harambe would start a university. I participated in Shingo Upande, but eventually, and I got to thank Professor Joker. It's nice to give him his accolades when he's alive. He actually carried the idea through, and to achieve that, he actually started a campus here. And that campus was handed by Dr. Buryongi as he was then. After that, we became a, a, a college, and the Professor Muriungi, on his elevation, became the principal. Today, we celebrate Professor Muriungi, and I give him also his accolades for being the first vice chancellor of the university. As a member of parliament for the Raka, I have always committed to support this university in all ways possible and in no manner that is within my power. I remember very well, including going to amend some supplementary budget to try and get our university money a while ago at the request of Professor Muriungi. To all of you, Professor Njoka, uh, Professor Kirui, and the recent kid on the block, Professor Muriungi, we give you our accolades this morning and urge you to continue with the spirit of making this university not the best university in Kenya because we are just about to attain that, but one of the best universities on the universe. Soon, we want you to overtake Nairobi University and everywhere in the country it will be the Raka University. As we have said, the Raka University you should know. What do I have in store to support this university? Now, first and foremost, we have the Raka Technical Training Institute, the TVET, just across. We want to hear this university offering engineering courses. That way, it will support that TVET. So, Professor, work very hard so that we now start the Faculty of Engineering fully fledged so that we have engineers being churned out of Tharaka University. We will support the TVET. Professor, you are an educationist. We are just starting the Tharaka Teachers Training College just across here. That is going to be your little kid sister or brother. We want you to mentor that one using your experience and expertise 
so that just like the university, we have the best teachers training college. These parents today have brought their children to graduate from the university. Tomorrow, we want them to bring their children to graduate from the teachers training college. Professor, start the school of medicine. Soon and very soon, we want to hear doctors coming out of Raka University. I will do all what it takes to support you to start the school of medicine here, which will mentor our Kenya Medical Training College just across the other side, where we soon want to start producing the paramedics who will be working in our hospitals. So as soon as we start, we have to team up with you. Professor, I will support you with a lot of bias I'm a pendeleo because I'm a lawyer. We want to start the faculty of medicine, sorry, the faculty of law in the university, in the Raka University. That I will do whatever it takes to assist you, get the accreditation and whatever else is required so that we can also produce lawyers whom I can also mentor within the remaining period of my life to become some of the best lawyers in the country. Also, possibly as I leave the scene, because I will not be here forever, we want to start a Kenya School of Law campus in Daraka, possibly being the first campus ever after the School of Law in Nairobi. And that School of Law will be mentored by the Faculty of Law, which will be started here. That will be a step forward for the Raka. I can assure you, we have said in the 10 years I'm going to be your member of parliament because I'm told after that I have to exit. And I'm agreeable to exiting anyway because there are others who are supposed possibly to do a better job. We must make the Raka one of the best constituencies in the Republic of Kenya. We must also catch up with the rest of Kenya because over a long period of time, even more than 60 years of independence, Varaka has been marginalized. It is our duty, it is our responsibility to bring up Varaka. And today, we witness one such bold step of joining the rest of Kenya by having a university that is well ranked. Professor, congratulations, because I also make a follow-up on how universities are ranked in Kenya. Believe you me, we never pass number four. Now we want to go to number three, number two, and eventually number one. I must announce to you that the government of William Samoy Ruto, His Excellency Doctor, is doing everything it can to arrest the situation. I was informed yesterday that we have a cabinet secretary allocated to Tharakanivi County to come and assess and also ameliorate the impacts of El Nino. So next week, that senior government official will be here, and we shall be speaking to him on ways and means of ensuring that the lives of Tharaka people are taken care of, especially during this El Nino phenomenon. Thank you very much. Graduates, I am with you 100%. Thank you very much, students. You are some of the best students in Kenya and in the world. A university that has been here for quite a number of years and has not had a single strike, riot, or anything that we can talk about and towardly. Continue with that because we must make Tharaka proud. We must make Tharaka great. Let us all support this fantastic university. I quit this university uh, with Ben Gurion University of Negev. That is in Israel where a university was started in a desert. And now the place is like an island. It turned a desert into a developed region in Israel. The Raqqa University is the lifeline of this region and Kenya at lunch. Let it be supported strongly. Let us use this university to do the following things. Conduct research. I am saying so because I am the the starter of this university, let us conduct research in agriculture to get maximum productivity. Let us look at mining 
activities, programs. Let us teach our students to be students of integrity. Even now we have been told there has never been any approval here. And let us create a component of social, uh, uh, corporate social responsibility to support the people around. Let us help them do things that we can afford so that, that the people will feel that this university is part and parcel of them. Our students from this university, I would like to thank you for working very hard and being disciplined. The Chuka University and the Raka University is where we have never heard of any uh, strike. There is only another one school in the whole of the Republic of Kenya which has existed for 74 years, that is St. Mary's Egoji, which have, has had no strike. Students who have finished be ambassadors of this university so that more and more people come here. A community support this institution. Build structures around this place to raise the level of development. I also would like to thank the government for supporting this institution. Once again, congratulations, Professor Muriungi and Dr. Kirui. Long live the Daraka University, long live Kenya. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I encourage you to be lifelong learners. The world is evolving at an unprecedented pace. And the ability to learn and learn and relearn will be a key de determinant of success. Embrace change with an open mind and view challenges <clears throat> as opportunities for growth. Remember that education is not confined to the walls of a lecture room, but is a, is a continuous and dynamic process that unfolds throughout our lives. While the pursuit of individual success is a worthy endeavor, it is equally important to recognize the interconnectedness of our lives. Each one of you has a role to play in creating a more inclusive and equitable society. So this is a speech by the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Honorable Dr. Ezekiel Machogu, CBS, on the occasion of the second graduation ceremony of Dharaka University. <coughs> the Chancellor, Dharaka University, Chief Guest, Dr. David Langat, CEO, DL Group of Companies. Professor Timothy Kiruhe, the Chair of the Council, Tharaka University. Tharaka University Council members, Chairperson of the University Councils present. Vice Chancellors and Deputy Vice Chancellors of the other universities present, Tharaka University Senate, Chuka University Senate, Jurinjake, the Supreme Council of Ameru Elders, Tharaka University staff, parents, and gra uh, guardians, graduating class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to join you today to celebrate the second graduation ceremony of Tharaka University. It is the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. This day represents the intersection of dreams and reality, the point at which the knowledge and skills you have acquired are celebrated, and your future endeavors are set in motion. Today we come together to honor not only the academic accomplishment of our graduates, but also their unwavering commitment to learning, growth, and personal development. I wish to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the graduates. Your hard work determination and commitment to your studies have brought you to this significant milestone. Completing your studies on time is a remarkable achievement and I commend each and every one of you for your dedication to the pursuit of knowledge and skills. Let me take this earliest opportunity to express my gratitude to the faculty and staff of Theraka University for their unwavering support throughout the academic journey of these graduates. Your guidance and mentorship have played a big role in shaping the current 
and future leaders of the society that stand before us today. A special word of appreciation goes out to the parents and guardians. Your sacrifices, encouragement, and love have been the foundation upon which these graduates have built their success. Your commitment to ensuring that they, have provide, uh, they were provided for during their time at the Raka University has not gone unnoticed. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to highlight the critical role that universities play in our country's development. Raka University, like all higher institutions of learning, should be a key player in the production of human resources, scientific innovations, and industry partnerships. The government's transformative philosophy, the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, better, will look upon universities to act as incubators for new ideas through research and innovations. The government has allocated shillings 749 million in the 2023-2024 financial year budget for research, science, technology, and innovation. Class of 2023 was an ex exception class full of talent, skills, and heart. I recount on the lucky days that I witnessed manifestations of your blatant validity uh, in demonstration of discipline and academic aura. And I will quote the ones of my mentor, Professor Peter Moriongi, that a mind is like a parachute, only works when open. And also, back them with the ones of Paul Mugambi, the, and Swazniga also quoted the same, that you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands on pocket. Good luck, all the best. We celebrate you. Thank you.